I don't deserve. Like nikiona watu wengine wakifanyikiwa na mambo mzuri mzuri I'm just like there. Natuliza can I even get to that? Can I achieve that? But you know what when you decide to change that mentality everything changes. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Lizzie. If you're new here, karibu sana. If you're already channel subscriber, thank you for always coming back for more. So guys, currently I'm at for 60 subscribers. Now I am just so happy. That for 60 means a lot because imagine what for 60 wanataka kunijua. Wanataka kuniona. Any you guys have come a long way with me. Siko nafikiria ati at some point nitafika for 60 subscribers, but who is God? Mungu awonekanie na obariki. And even for those of you that share, comment, and even keep on encouraging me. Thank you because I get the motivation to do what I do. And say, you know what, stay tuned until the end of this video and you might get some small tips and habits that incorporate them in your life so that you can get to see the change. So, growing up, my self-confidence and my self-esteem was lacking. Yani, I never believed in myself. And it's funny because people, like, what wa kikuona, wanona, like, you're this composed, you look good, yani, even the way you present yourself. Like, internally, mimi na battle na my own mind because I'm just there thinking that I don't deserve whatever is. Like, nikiona watu wengine wakifanyikiwa na mambo mzuri mzuri, I'm just like there. Natuliza, can I even get to that? Can I achieve that? But, you know what, when you decide to change that mentality, everything changes. When I was also starting this channel, ene nilikuwa na wogopa. I was so shy, I even lacked the camera confidence. But, as you can see right now, we are getting better day by day. And I'm just so grateful because I decided to do it even though I was scared. At first, I have a YouTube channel. I think it was 2020 at that particular time. So memes were trending and then they were in a similar way. I'm talking about my channel and I'm talking about my YouTube channel. But that was not the case for me. I'm talking about my feel. 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 Niki watu mia links, siji kama watenda ta kusubscribe, you know. It was just a lot and it was fucking me up kwa akili. But guess what guys, we did it. So eventually, tukafika 99 subscribers. I took my mom's phone na nika subscribe kwa channel yangu kusababu nilikuwa nataka kuwana like nimefika 100. So yeah, likuwa like my 100 subscriber and I was so happy because even getting to 100, it was difficult. But you know what, we thank God we are here. After that, I started post content. So when I initially created the account, I had in mind that I wanted to share travel content because I love exploring new places. Whenever I go to a new destination and maybe I am settling in there, I love to like know what, what does that destination offer. So I would do like that. I would save up, I save up and then <laughs> so I was traveling on a budget. I got exposed to many destinations. Nilikuwa na yo passion yaku. Follow whatever it is I wanted. But I started documenting it and I decided that I'll be sharing on YouTube. I love sister but this, you know, like I have that mentality of how are people going to perceive me? How are my friends going to see me? Like what an ifkiriaje? Am I going to be that cool? <laughs> That's cool friend, but I don't even know if I'm cool, but whatever. So I had all these thoughts in my mind, but nikamua if bad, bad. So I decided to start posting kwa WhatsApp because I wanted the views na pia nilikuwa nataka subscribers. At that particular moment, I was focusing more on the subscribers, not focusing on more about creating a community around. I am a consumer of YouTube, so nilikuwa naangalianga the YouTube videos about how to grow your YouTube channel. And I remember I came across this particular video that was, that was talking about the numbers don't really matter, but what is it that you're offering is what is going to bring like your season data little subscribers. And through that, you're also going to be creating a community for yourself. So Nikamua, the subscribers don't matter. So I stopped pushing for people to subscribe to my channel because I'm not IBS, but hata kuja ku watch tena like so, I'm going to sub for sub, and eventually, 
to make it grow since then. When YouTube introduced the shorts, I learned to post. Na upon don elepata like a lot of subscribers, and I'm just so grateful because. I want my videos to bring in the subscribers. Like me, me nishina ni mambi awa to like subscribe. Si juni ni ni ni. Believing in yourself is very important, and I'm going to be sharing with you some key points that are going to be helpful for you. Now maybe you can incorporate them in your life. I love for whenever ye. It's going to work out for you because it doesn't happen overnight. By the way, mm mm mm. It is a process. It is a journey. Now you must be willing to like do all those things, and or like achieve these objectives that you need to attack. My first point is get closer to God. There is nothing that you are going to lose by getting closer to God. Personally, I was struggling, but okay, kila mtu kwa namba best and unapotanga like mki mki kachini maybe mnaongea ama you just hanging out. Utapata like mnaongea 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 and then maybe at one point, story na shift from one thing. <laughs> So I remember I was chilling with this group of friends and when I met up with them, they all so they were talking. But when I argue, it was about Mumbai yeah, coronavirus. Oh yeah, it was about the vaccine. So while we were like, we're not checking the other like when you're doing the vaccine, when you're doing the vaccine, and we're still surviving. So I don't know when you're in the shift to carry out the Bible, and they were arguing very, very well, and I'm just like there, I like. So there I was watching left and right as people argued about the Bible. I mean, it's a police and act of changia. So at that particular moment, I felt so challenged about reading the Bible. Now I even remember that I asked my mom to buy me a Bible for my birthday, <laughs> like a gift. So just before the graduation, I had come home to visit, and my mom ako kwa Catholic action kama wenye Catholic then you know that. And they were going to the shrine. So the shrine is a place that people to go like to pray, and it's such a beautiful and peaceful place to be in. Hopefully, I'm taking a video sometime. I can only say, "Come on, me, it's an anikasema." Firstly, it's because I look on enda na mama wenzake, and at the same time, I felt like, ah, uh ah, -uh, it was not my thing. <laughs> so I kata kuenda, and she was okay with it. But after that, I felt like I really wanted to go. I felt like. Kuna kitu ilikuwa na ni push, and so I told her that. No, she told me that there was another group that was supposed to go to the shrine. So kama na taka kwenye ningeenda na wao, and so I told her that I want to go this time. Hey, guess what? The group cancelled. Lava kwa naenda tena. And my mom told me since ni ilikuwa na taka kwenye, and I would be soon going back to Malindi. I can imbi ni saa watu taenda. So she arranged for it, and we went. And at that particular moment, I felt like I was mimi nilikuwa katikati because I believe yes, and I was also having my doubts. So nilikuwa po katikati, but my mom was pushing me closer and closer, and I'm grateful for that. So after apo, I was to reote kaisha, and I felt like I was getting somewhere. So to kenga 2024, and I started reading the Bible, and it felt so good. I felt like I was building a close. Relationship with God, yani like yangu personal. Yes, ni mo na vitu amefanya watu ingine, but I wanted to have my own personal relationship with God, and I feel like ever since I started doing that, then mambo yanza kubadilika for the better. You can get closer to God by doing so many things. You can start by reading the Bible. You can also pray, having conversations and talking with God. Mungu anaskizanga atika mahata kujibu at that particular moment, ata kujibu when the time is right. So. Don't worry. I love to also learn to be grateful. My second point is change your small habits. Like start small. For example, for me, I had this tendency of looking down at myself. You start affirming yourself. Angalia choices. Read them to yourself. Always remind yourself that you're worthy of anything that you set your mind onto. Now the moment you decide that, like unatoa iso iso bad habits kidogo kidogo, unapata you're doing good. Having conversations with yourself in a side younger leg for you to know what it is that you like and what it is that you don't like about yourself, then you can start changing. For example, Mimi ni Leona, what's the point of looking down on myself? Mm -hmm. I can get better, and so I stopped doing that. Another point is to align yourself with friends that have the same goals and the same energies as you. Just make sure that whoever you are giving your energy to deserves the energy. Jo, we are constantly told that. 
friends the circle of friends that you have can either make you or break you so it is for you to decide and choose wisely do you pay sazingine how juangi intentions zam to atam kijuana even the people you interact with doesn't matter like kama ni mabeshte or not but generally people that you interact with na unaweza achieve so many things alone yeah you can do life alone but on the other hand we need the that constant motivation the support you know someone to celebrate your wins with my third point is to dress comfortably because when you look good and you feel good then that's it any like nikitoka kwa nyumba na jana kaa vizuri then hata uko nje hata nikosea kwa mbona kaa vizuri in my mind i know that dressing up just like in a boost to confidence yako self esteem yako this is something that has worked for me and i know labda pia wewe shaifanya hivyo na feel whenever you dress good you feel so good about yourself my fourth point is to believe in yourself <laughs> yeah as simple as that believing in yourself takes a lot of work na wewe ndo utafanya hiyo kazi yote believe that whatever you put your mind into like you can achieve it you can do it like jiaminie jiaminie my friend alafu always think of the positive like don't consider much of the negative side of something look at the positive side for example if you're thinking of starting something for example for me it was my youtube channel i was debating yani i debated for so long so instead of thinking that whatever i start and i fail think about it in a different way like whatever i start and i succeed you know you can never know so utakuwa tunajulizanga what if what if what if so believe that you can and go 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 do it go do it go do it my fifth point is that you don't need outside validation the only validation you need is from yourself like other people's opinions should not matter to you ili kitu tunaambia ngo na ni ukweli like you may not see it as the truth but your opinion is what that matters ji watu wataongea wataongea yes but what are they going to do wewe ukiamua kufanya si umefanya yeah so exactly you only need yourself to validate yourself <laughs> and also you need to be strong enough to stand in your judgment that even when people say something else like you're not swayed away to go like the other direction una stick na whatever you said and that should be it so like jiaminie believe you can do it by yourself another point is be in spaces that allow you to see what you can become like sasa zingine tunaambia ngo tu vitu mingi like mtu anakuambia you can do this you can do that but sasa zingine inatakanga tu wewe mwenyewe unaona like what vitu watu wanafanya and you decide that hata mimi nataka kufanya hivyo i have an instagram account na it has accumulated so many followers just by me posting pictures <laughs> Yeah, and I remember there was this particular time a brand reached out to me a big brand okay, and I was so excited but at the same time nilikuwa na ile uga because I've never worked with a brand I don't know how to like handle them but niliona like that made me see that what you are niona uko nje very differently because there is a way that I present myself without even knowing it wewe mwenyewe jaribu kujieka place unataka kukua yeah if it makes sense Another point is consume content that inspires you or motivates you. See kata you you can go <laughs> and check kwa memes, go look at the TikToks, look at the reels, watch YouTube videos, funny videos, bite. Also, on the side make sure that you're consuming content that is inspiring you to get closer to what you want to become or whatever you want to start. For example, kama unataka kuanza YouTube channel na maybe you don't have you, okay you have an idea of what you want to start but how do you tafanya aje and on youtube look at the creators that you follow ama the youtubers that you follow and you will have a utapata a basic idea of what you want to create by looking at what they do utapata for example if you look at a certain creator what do you love about them even you want to mia they are editing style the way they shoot their videos like is of it to zote when you consume something that is inspiring to you then itakuwa ina kupush pia wewe ku make that move so that you can get to where you want so utapata slowly by slowly unajiaminia pole pole because now you know that hivi ndo nataka na this is what i'm going to do i was going through youtube and i was downloading videos mimi napenda ku download videos and watch them later so i was downloading these videos and then i came across this video on Stephanie Nganga show 
and she was interviewing these two girls. So I was channel willing in my best friend. So that is Zarilin Zondro and Kim Kadaisi. And so I I watched that video, but I felt like there was more to them that they were showing off kwa camera. So I decided to go check them out because the boys say they were YouTubers. So I went, na mimi ni kitaka kujom to I go scroll down. So that is what I did. And I got to know these girls through their videos. Zile videos za kwanza zenye walianza nazo. Hizo ndo like zinafanyo unajua what kind of a person is she like alianza aje. And you know you get to see the journey. And I was impressed and I felt like ah watu wala nielewa kabisa kabisa. So ndo mwana nasema like when you consume something that inspires you. Then unapatanga like everything that any kila kitu inanza kuchange for the better. Now from there, let me tell you, Adi si ogopi kamera, si ogopi kuangalesha kamera na singe waifanya hivo. As you also know, ata kwa video zangu, I don't talk that much. Kitambo, I prefer to do voiceovers rather than talking kwa kamera. <laughs> yeah, it's part of the process, but here we are now. That really motivated me to put like effort kwa YouTube and I started being consistent. January, I was very consistent. Even my friends noted that. <laughs> But after hapo, <laughs> we are trying. Okay, YouTube ina kwanga na moments zake. Sometimes you're consistent, as in you you're not consistent because it all depends with how your videos are doing. But after that, I felt so motivated. Kitambo siku wana watch like the content creators were among the YouTubers of Kenya. Mostly I was watching the couples wamaju sana sana. If you're familiar with Risa and Kwen, and Milo and Hazel, okay, I love that couple so much, even though they don't post a lot. So I was inspired to create and yeah, that is basically when I decided that it's time for me to create a life that I want, a life that I enjoy. Yani like, I want to achieve everything I want. Another point that I know a lot of people go through, let's go of the fear. Acha woga na ni. I'm saying this because for a long time, Pia Mimi, fear has held me back from so many things do something when you're scared like let that fear be your motivation to do something like you're going to fear what people are going to say about you the way your friends are going to react about you but then what utaku umianza kitu na maybe in a few years to come utaku a millionaire through your youtube <laughs> you never know so the worst thing that that could happen yet either utapata backlash depending on the content that you put out Utapata hate comments because akukosangi haters. Akukosangi haters. You just do it scared. Achana na iyo woga. Isi kukataze ufanya kitu. And I remember there, I have this gratitude app that I normally use. There was this particular day. I was feeling so low. And then I got this. They normally send you like a quote of the day and a prompt for the day. And the quote of the day was that everything you want is on the other side of fear. So when you let go of that fear, you get whatever it is that you want. Yeah, na hivu ndo kuko. My last point is about perfection. If you're struggling with perfectionism, then I'm sorry. <laughs> For a long time, I was seeking perfection. I even remember when I was shooting that first video that I posted kwa YouTube channel yangu, I wanted everything to be perfect. Like the lighting, the audio. Na kumbuka, sikuwa na ring light na the light was not... The light was not good. Kuna easy, easy tafulani. So I took that and I had got a microphone before together with a tripod. Hizo vitu ndo nilitumia. You might be believing in yourself so much, but usiache perfection like equal limit. Juna patanga. Even for me, that has happened so many times. I find that because I want everything to be perfect, I end up procrastinating doing something. I want everything to be perfect. I procrastinate on so much such that I'm just like nachoka tu nayo because I've taken so long na ningeanza tu time yenye ilikuja kwa akili yangu. But because I was seeking perfection, I lose the idea in between. So don't let perfection limit you. Like if you believe that something is going to work out, do it na chenye ukonayo at that particular moment. Lastly, remember to work with God. Whatever you seek and whatever you ask God, ata provide even though it's not going to happen at that particular moment. And I'll keep reminding you guys, work with God. Mungu anafungwanga milango, ata enye haukuna joa ina exist. 
like he just does that for you take everything a day at a time usi rush at maybe it can change overnight for you but i believe that it is a process na it a take time so usi ji pressure anza to incorporate these small habits day by day and let me tell you at some point at a what i feel like everything is changing for you and once you believe in yourself like utafurahia because I've felt so much difference since I started believing in myself. I love when unapata like opportunities are just presented to you out of nowhere. Like I was watching Shonaro, I love her videos and I love her because she does speak so openly. Na nakumbuka kuna there was something that she said, things don't happen to her, they happen for her. So ukiamini okay, hivyo then I believe that utakuwa unaona like kila kitu ina happen for a reason. and it is just a preparation to what is going to come after you like mungu akona so many ways to like lift you up open up me any milango zako zinafunguka tu hivyo hivyo so don't give up on yourself if i can do it you also can do it we are humans like is it vitu ni ku learn and changing your bad habits to get to where we want to be so don't give up before i even close up this video I'm so grateful to everyone that has played a role in my journey. It's taken a while to get here. And with that said, I hope that this video has been helpful to at least at home to moja. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe. By the way, leave a comment down below if this video resonated with you somehow. Yeah, and don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend. Let's get to 500 subscribers. Say to for 60 and we're still moving. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching and until next time bye bye I hope you enjoyed by the way watching and in case you feel like this video is going to be helpful to anybody else you can share it to your friends and tell them about me <laughs> Yeah and so bye bye Everybody know that me I got the best Come with the fire and I'm best Every day give me challenge